welcome back to the channel and in this video we'll be going over jewel crafting and basically all the basics of it so uh, before we start uh, the way you get jewels right now is uh, through bronze steel chests uh, the way I got it I got them I got a lot of jewels uh, as you can see if I, if I search them I got like a lot of like the, these green jewels and the yellow jewels depending on the status effect but we'll go on to that later but basically the way I farm them is through bronze steel chests so if you really want to farm jewels fight pirates or NPC ships or do underwater winds. I did underwater winds and with the help of the revealing potion and underwater breathing potions and shark repel potions, it was very easy. I'll be going on to potions later on in a, in a different video, but for now, this is just for jewel crafting. So as of currently of recording this, the only few places that I know that has a jewel crafting table is in Palo Town and in Sailor's Lodge. Uh, we tried to find the one on Ravenna, we just couldn't find it, and the table is extremely sh small as well, so it's pretty difficult to find. Um, right now, I'm just trying to basically use the, what do you call it, the ship feature, the new ship feature, like the ship unload feature, so you, go, you don't have to like, have like, waste time on like, trying to unload your ship. All you have to do is just basically just ask your, your uh, quartermaster and they will do it for you, so you'll have whatever amount of ships you have, whatever amount of cargo you have oops sorry about that uh, it'll just happen and by the way this is where you can find the jewel crafting station so off of Palo town you want to go to the the new section of this of the town the city or i guess and it's on this hill little like right there and it's a really tiny table <laughs> it's a really really tiny table it's really difficult to spot but once you're there um it's you know you can see like fragments of jewels and this is where it is on the thing is also there's, there's one on sailor's lodge it's pretty to spot and there's one on Palo town like i said we tried to find it in ravenna but we just couldn't so maybe in the future some people will find it so yeah so let's talk about jewel crafting itself basically there's a lot of new things so jewels um based on the color they will have their specific stats so jewels right now they have basically all the same like armor stats so attack speed attack size um power defense uh intensity and basically those are like the basic stats and depending on the color of the jewel if the color of the jewel is more closer to red or orange it is uh, a power jewel if it's more closer to like light blue then it's uh, defense or more closer to purple it's more it's defense if it's more closer to blue like dark blue it's it's attack speed and if it's more closer to like a green it's like a, uh how do you call it attack size and such so there's a lot of different colors there's a lot of different jewels and they all go into the six or seven stats i think and then we have the new thing which are like the reagents so right now i'm going to put the gem or the yeah the gem in and then i'm going to use an auric seaweed which gives me uh, more air capacity and as you can see this uh jewel is giving me plus nine percent air capacity and one power right now they only give one power because they're like this is a crude version i'm gonna make this other ruby into like um a jewel so that's pretty cool and it's pretty simple to make them and this one has 10 percent, so it's even better and now I'm going to show you like how can you equip it. So this is you don't you don't actually use the table to equip them. You actually use these jewels kind of like enchantment scrolls. So as you can see, I already have one on my sunken chest plate. Uh, this is I just did that for testing. But what you want to do is you want to first like get rid of the armor that you want to put the jewels on, and then uh, if you can see there, like you can remove the jewels as well. So if you if you uh, like somehow manage to put the wrong jewel. Then you can just remove it. It costs galleons, but galleons are pretty easy to farm because you know the unload feature thing. So you want to go to your jewel places, and then you can uh, go to the the jewel itself. Uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. Okay. So I want to put this crude uh, breathing sunstone. So it's the ruby, I guess. And I'm gonna put it on my sunken. And there we go now it's equipped on my sunken so then i'm gonna use the other one uh, i think the what do you call it the cool being sunstone put it on that and boom now my sunken has two power not just like it doesn't it doesn't have any part else it has two power and then you can press hold shift and you can see what other stuff it has which is pretty cool um 
yeah, it has that one armor piece itself has plus 19% air capacity, and this one has defense and attack knockback because without again, I was testing it. Now, I'm actually gonna remove the one on the chest piece. So this one costs 325 because you know it's the leggings, and then you can just go to this one and then unsock it, and you get back the jewel and the armor piece in one piece. So you don't break jewel at all. You you keep the jewels that you own. So which is like even better than enchantment scrolls basically so yeah and look once i equip this my power increases by two so at most um uh jewels don't actually work on amulets as far as i know so they won't work on amulets so uh, they won't have that rare quality items have two jewel slots uncommons can have one to two and um unlike it's based on the like level and like also the level so like if you're if it's a level 50 it'll have one jewel slot if it's a level 100 it'll have two jewel slots and the maximum you can have is two jewel slots only and at most right now you can have 10 jewels like jewel slots like as a, as a whole but if you want to use an amulet then you can only have eight and at most right now i think you can have plus eight power so if you really want to do that that's a really good idea and i think you can have like around 70 to 80 percent of like air capacity as well and it's it's just this is a great update um the way i farmed is again so i used like bronze seal chest that's like the best way to do it uh they nerfed how much jewels like like the percentage of jewels you get from rocks now they're com it's like almost nothing now so there's no point in farming rocks anymore. It's, you have to farm it, farm it through like bronze steel chests. And yeah, um, if, if you want to, I'll be going over how do you farm them. Uh, like right now, I'm just showing you like a, a growth sap. We use the growth sap to make revealing potions, and then you can use that to make like other things. Blah blah blah. blah whatever. This is just for jewel crafting. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave a like leave a comment on what's your favorite feature of this update mine right now is just like the revealing potion that lets you see through things right now it's a bit buggy but i'll go on to that in a different video so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, i'll see you guys in the next one bye